you guys and welcome back why do i keep doing this hey you guys and welcome back to my channel um first off <laughs> do y'all like this new setup or no nah? because i finally changed my room around if you guys don't know and i'm just I, i'm so in love with this setup it makes my room look bigger and it just i'm just i don't know i'm really happy today i don't know what's up with me but today's video as you can tell from the title is all about picking the right MOS okay so this video is for my future soldiers my soldiers that want to reclass and all my supporters all my subbies that just watch my videos all my videos so it's lunchtime I'm hungry I got my lunch right here I got my lunch right here you feel me um so I'm just gonna let me not be rude to eat but I'm hungry so uh, let me just start off by saying picking your MOS well the MOS that you pick in the army is literally going to make your life or it's going to break your life. Me personally, if you guys don't remember, I'll pro I'm probably going to do an update video on um, why exactly I joined the army. If you guys want to see that and thumbs up this video, let me know. But my um, upbringing was really rough, like my childhood was really rough. So I decided to join the army and I really didn't care about the MOS that I picked. I, needed, I just wanted a roof over my head. Just a steady income and also like clothes on my back. That's really what I wanted. Um, so I enlisted in the army November 12, 2014 as a 91 Charlie. I'm gonna let y'all know anything with a 91 in front of it, any MOS with a 91 in front of it is a mechanic. You don't want to be a mechanic, okay? Um, being that I was going through so much, I just picked a 91 Charlie because it had the closest ship date. When I joined the army, and when I initially joined the army, I had three options. I had 91 Charlie, which is a utilities equipment repair, which is basically, I feel like I'm talking too fast, which is basically a AC mechanic. And then there is, I was also given the option of a 91 Delta, which is a generator mechanic. And then my last option was something called linguistics. I'm not sure if it was language related or what, but linguistics had the farthest ship date. 91 Delta had a far ship date, but 91 Charlie had the closest ship date. So. What I did, I dropped out of college, my second year of college, dropped out. I was in ROTC and everything, dropped the fuck out. And I said, you know what? I'm shipping off to basic and I'm just gonna create a new life for myself. And that's literally what I did. I hope I'm not going off track, but that's literally what I did. I literally created a whole different like life for myself through like hard work, prayer, and consistency. But with that being said, I picked 91 Charlie and I fucking hate it fucking hate it so anything like i was saying previously with the 91 in front of it is a mechanic meaning you're going to work somewhere that is called the motor pool i will try to insert footage of what the motor pool is hot i will try to insert footage of what um the motor pool looks like um to me why i hate my i don't hate my job i hate where i work i hate working in the motor pool so the motor pool for civilians would be like a, a auto body shop so like where they fix cars but in the army's version is where they fix um like military vehicles, generators, ACs, signal equipment, depending on what unit you're in. So I just had to say my part of whatever. Now the personal, my personal reason why I hate um, being a mechanic is because the motor pool is like this really dark place. Like I feel like the people that work in the motor pool, I'm not gonna say they're depressed. Well, I know a lot of soldiers, and this is my second duty station, so I can attest. But I know a lot of soldiers that are like miserable, depressed, just like Debbie Downers, which I am sometimes, I'm not gonna lie, but like just the leadership sucks. Like the motor pool is just usually, we just usually get the shit end of the stick, which is true. If you work in the motor pool, comment down below, y'all know what the fuck I'm talking about. That's why, me personally, I don't like working in the motor pool. I am going to change my job, you guys. I have been thinking between MOS, either I can change my MOS or become a recruiter. If I do decide to become a recruiter, it's gonna be hard for me to get my E6 because points for my MOS is really high. But if I change my MOS, it'll be easier for me to get E6 and then I can eventually become a recruiter. So what I'm gonna do, I've, I decided that today, I'm going to change my MOS. So I wanna be a recruiter so bad, I'm like, oh my God, nobody knows. but. I have decided to just change my MOS. The MOS that I want is a 46 Romeo, which is public affairs, okay? So I'm putting that out there that I want to be public affairs. I've been saying this. I don't see none of y'all else lying. Talking about all of a sudden y'all want to be public affairs. 
miss me with the shit, okay? But anyway, so if y'all don't know, when you literally try to join the army, you're gonna take the ASVAB test. The ASVAB test is the Armed Service Vocational Aptitude Battery Test. That's what ASVAB stands for. You take the test and you're gonna get a main score and you're gonna get line scores. The line scores that you get is what will open jobs for you. It will basically, your recruiter will let you know what jobs are open for you based on the line scores that you get off your ASVAB. Look, my dumb ass, I only got a 52 on the ASVAB, okay? I, I didn't take it serious, I swear to God, I was just trying to join the army and get some money and find somewhere to live, okay? That was it, I didn't take it serious. But I really, 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 really do. Like, if y'all don't take anything from my videos, I'm begging y'all to please take the ASVAB serious, like, Yes, yeah, so I would really stress you guys. I look so tired. I would really stress that you guys really take the ASVAB serious because it's gonna help you pick a good job so you don't hate your life when you join the army. Me personally, if I was you guys, I would pick a job that has low promotion points. The worst jobs to me in the mechanic, I mean, in what? The worst jobs to me in the army would be Anything 11 Bravo, anything 11 series, anything combat arms series. Um, and basically mechanics, to be honest with you. So for my MOS, for me to get promoted to E5, of course you know I gotta go to the promotion board, BLC, and then I also have to accumulate, accumulate points. now. There are other people out here, depending on MOS, that only have to get 39 points out of 798 points, okay? So, listen now. All you really got to do is take a PT test, go to BLC, and you can get promoted to E5. That's depending on the MOS. Not only do I hate my MOS, I'm in an MOS, and last month I checked, our promotion points are all the way at 798. And at this time, I only have about 400 and some change promotion points, so... This is why I was trying to stress to y'all, pick a job that has low promotion points so you can just, at least if you hate your job, you can have some rank and whatever. You don't want to hate your job and then be an E4. Like, that's, that's a dub. So, as I was saying, for you guys, I would really just honestly suggest whatever it is that you want to do when you get out the army, that's what I would suggest you doing in the army. I don't want to be no damn Mason mechanic. I don't even know why I picked this. But I do want to do something digital media related. Um, production related so that's why I want to be a 46 Romeo or 46 Quebec or I think it's or a 25 Victor I think that's combat camera but that is why I want to do it I don't know what I was thinking I am blessed though to have this MOS because um, this MOS does give you technical certs for when you get out the army thank God so a lot of people have to go to school or pay a lot of money to go to school to get the certs that I have so I'm blessed when it comes to that but I really just want to stress to you guys that the MOS you pick will determine if you dislike or like the army. Me personally, even though I complain to you guys a lot, you have to realize I have no friends, so y'all are all I have. If you're not subscribed, you need to fucking subscribe. But you guys are all I have, so when, sometimes when it seems like I'm complaining, it's like I have to complain to y'all because I don't have anybody else to talk to, but I don't hate the army at all. I think, you feel me, it's just my MOS and the people and the leadership that I have so with that being said I really do stress picking the right MOS um, for you guys so if you guys honestly if y'all watch my YouTube and y'all really enjoy YouTube and YouTube is your dream and you enjoy making makeup tutorials shit like that I would suggest you guys pick uh, 46 Romeo something where they like that they have medical MOS's they have a combat medic they have dental assistant they have uh the eye medic they have literally i don't even if i had service i would google but i'm pretty sure they have over 150 jobs in the army so i would really like don't settle y'all please do not settle like how i did for mos and don't pick anything not even bravo related if i could suggest you guys to pick anything i would say be a cook cooks do work long hours and i know they hate it and they work some four days i know they hate it but let's be realistic points to e6 is like 15 like come on stop complaining seriously um but yeah that is basically it for today's video um if you are watching this and you're in the army do me a big favor and comment down below what your mos is do you like it what you don't like about it 
and if you do like it what you like about it if you don't like it what you don't like about it and would you suggest what um what am, would you suggest others to join now if you're watching say you're a future soldier um comment down below and let me know what mos is your dream mos and do you have the scores to potentially get that mos the last thing i do want to add is if you are not in a situation like i was in like really depressed suicidal like going through a lot of shit before i joined the army i would suggest you wait for your mos your dream mos to open don't just settle y'all for real you don't want to do that but it's lunchtime. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. I love you guys so much. Um, let me know what military videos you guys want to see down below and I will get them out to y'all. Do y'all like this ponytail? Y'all see the ponytail bro? Pony uh, what are you here, bitch. It's my ponytail bro? Yes. But anyways, I love you guys so much and I will see you guys in my next video.